I'm going to assume some of you know Transcelerate. I'm also going to assume some of you don't. So I'm going to give you a very quick uh, synopsis of what it is. So it's an organization that's about four and a half years old. Uh, and it was born out of discussions at R&D heads levels on the need to collaborate. Uh, it, is, it was no longer a choice. There were too many inefficiencies in the R&D process. Areas that were often considered competitive that truly are not competitive, in which there was room to create a collaboration. So Transcelerate's made up, uh, there were 10 founding members. It's, since then, uh, other companies have joined. Um, there are 18 companies that form this ecosystem called Transcelerate. They make up about 80%, oh sorry, 60% of the world's R&D spend. So it's a fairly sizable chunk of the R&D process, the clinical trials process, and so on. And what we have done over the last four and, four and a half years is really essentially uh, foster collaboration by providing a forum, an environment for people. Uh, uh, there's an enormous uh, desire for people to collaborate. We have to provide them that forum. We have to provide them legal air cover. We have to provide them top-down management okay to collaborate okay to take off your hat and fix a common problem. So, and there are common problems. When you look across these 18 companies or the entire R&D landscape, the same problems exist in different companies who then try to solve them in different ways. And probably most of that does not need to be done differently. The victims of that are the investigative sites where we do our clinical trials. And that flows down to access of patients, to difficulty of clinical trials. Clinical trials don't fit clinical practice. You know, it's the other way around we do a clinical trial. So the things we're doing at Transcelerate is three streams of work. We originally started in clinical development. We picked some very logical projects that were clear pain points, and we tackled them. We work closely with FDA, European regulators. We work with the NIH, other collaborations, patient sites and uh, patient uh, groups, as well as sites. Since then, we've opened a third, second stream of work for a company called Biocelerate, which is an entity of Transcelerate. That's in the preclinical world, toxicology data sharing, animal control share, data sharing. Uh, and then just recently, we launched um, a, a third stream of work in pharmacovigilance and safety. And I think the fact that we continue to do more is a testament to the fact that the member companies feel that this particular configuration in this particular governance model is doing what we wanted to do because consortia have a very mixed history, most of it failure. So you know, in order to put this together, we needed to be very careful that we're not just going to spin our wheel, uh, wheels and put out a whole bunch of white papers without actionable things that companies can do and we can. And everything we do is made available in the public domain. It's not for the pharmaceutical companies that f fund this. It's on the website for anybody and anywhere to use it. And trust me, it is. There, you know, some of our papers are downloaded by 80, 90, 100 companies for their own purposes.